and it's important not to ride your brakes down hills. Riding the brakes is when you keep your foot on the brake and you are trying to control the speed by constantly applying pressure to the brake. This is dangerous because the components that control the brakes can overheat and melt causing the vehicle to lose all braking capabilities. What is recommended is that braking should be done in short bursts. It's far better to brake hard for a shorter distance than to ride your brakes for a long period of time. There is also another method called downshifting that you can use to keep your speed in check when going downhills. From the speed of 70 to 100 kilometers per hour, you can carefully pull in the automatic shifter and put it into third gear. Be careful when doing this because you do not want to shift into second gear or into park, only into third gear. To do this safely, pull in the automatic shifter and in a controlled manner, drop the shifter into third gear. The RPMs will go up a bit, but you can press on the brake to slow the vehicle down. Now in third gear, the engine will help to keep the speed down so your vehicle won't gather speed as fast. When your vehicle starts to speed up, press the brake, slow the vehicle down. After you reach the bottom of the hill, remember to shift your vehicle back into drive. As these are not high performance vehicles, caution must be taken when driving up hills. As you may be driving up mountain highways, it's better to drive cautiously than to be stranded for a day or two on the side of the highway. With the extra gear and weight on board, there is a good chance you may not be going faster than 80 kilometers up a hill. To drive up a hill safely, try to avoid pushing the gas pedal to the floor and having the vehicle downshift to high RPMs and then upshift again. Lots of shifting and jerking are signs that an engine may be working too hard. Take it easy, relax, and enjoy the ride. Try to keep the RPMs in a safe range, preferably below 3500. Also, when driving mountain highways, keep an eye on the temperature gauge. If the temperature gauge starts to climb, you need to pull over immediately and let the engine cool off.